Welcome back, another example of a typical question involving upper and lower bound. The question will appear as an annotation in this video because I will never be able to fit it on a piece of paper. Let's say there is a cycling race. Yeah? In Holland we love to, to ride our pedal bikes and there are 250 people joining the race. However, that number is corrected to the nearest 10. And each participant drives 45 and a half kilometers each. However, that number is corrected to one decimal place. And then the question could be, what is the least amount of total kilometers driven? Yeah? So what is the least amount of kilometers driven by all the participants together? Now, let's continue a little bit that they could say and present your final answer in standard form corrected to one significant figure. Yeah, so we're combining some understanding of rounding as well yeah, in this question. Okay, now let me write a few things down now. So we had 250 um, participants and let me just draw a part of a number line here and we have another number line for the amount of kilometers, all right? So number lines, they go on and on and on. Okay, so 250 participants corrected to the nearest 10. So what is the next on that side? That's gonna be 260. And on that side, it's 240, that's it. And let's have a look at those kilometers. Yeah, I do a similar thing. 45 and a half, uh, 45.5 correct to one decimal place, so what is the next one? That's 45.6 indeed, and over here 45.4, excellent, all right. And they're asking me, yeah, what is the least amount of total kilometers driven by these people? Eh? So am I talking about upper bound or lower bound? Eh? Am, I talk, am I interested in this value over here or that value? Well, the least amount, yes, indeed, it suggests we're talking about lower bound. Okay, so what is the least amount of people who participate in this race? Yeah, if it's corrected to the nearest 10, then the lower bound of that is 245. You're absolutely right. And what is the least amount of kilometers they were on their bike? Yeah, what is the lower bound of that? Well, that is 45.45. Okay, so yes, here I have two decimals. Uh, because it's corrected to one decimal place. And here I don't have decimals because it's corrected to the nearest 10. Okay, so it depends on how they have um, rounded it. Yeah, uh, uh, your answer depends on that. Okay, anyway, so 245 participants, least amount of participants possible, the lower bound, 45.45 kilometers each uh, is the lower bound of the distance. Yeah, so how do I then find the total distance? So it's 200 and 45, and I will have to multiply that by 45.45, all right? I multiply that. I hope you understand why. Now, um, if I do so in my calculator, um, although you should be able to do it without a calculator, but I've been a little bit lazy, it is 10890.25. Yeah, so 10,890 and a quarter of a kilometer. Now, before I start writing that, that down in um, standard form, correct to one significant figure, I just want to really emphasize again on the fact that you first take the lower bound and then you do your workings and then that's your answer. Yeah, instead of doing 250 times 45.5 equals, and then take the lower bound for that answer. That's wrong. And I hope you realize that. Otherwise, have a look at my previous videos. Anyway, back to here. Um, standard form, one significant figure. Now, significant figures are important figures. I explained that in previous videos as well. This is my most important figure, the first one. Um, and that stays a one, or it goes up to a two. That depends on the next one and it's lower than a five, so it stays a one. So that one corrected to one significant figure is one, but of course we have to put those zeros there at a zero placeholder, because otherwise you take the number out of context if you like. So to one significant, significant figure, it's gonna be 10,000 kilometers, okay? 
So I've corrected it to one significant figure. Now my last, my final step is to write it in standard form. So that's going to be 1 times 10 to the power. And I just take my finger. I have one finger and I only use this finger for maths. Yeah? And I can use it now because I've moved to the decimal place. A 1, a 2, a 3, 4 steps. So 10 to the power 4. Let me check that. It now is here and I'm moving it a one, a two, a three, four. So times ten to the power of four. So the least amount of kilometers yeah, that these people um, drove all together yeah, um, in standard form corrected to one significant figure is one times ten to the power of four kilometers. I hope that was useful. Have a look at some of my other videos. I'm always here to help you. See you soon.